This message is brought to you by Supernatural Life Ministry. Receive with excitement and grasp with passion the engrafted Word of God as it comes your way through God's servant, Ike Aziji, of the Supernatural Life Ministry. A man called by God with an embodiment of great grace and a mandate to reawake the greatness in you and to deliver mankind from every deception of the enemy. Now get ready for an unusual encounter with the Word of God that will take your life to the next level. I will give you the right word. Where is the right word? The right word is in the Word of God. The right word is in the scriptures. That is exactly what God wants to teach you this morning. How to speak that word of God in faith. And see the manifestation in your life. Instead of speaking the word, they keep on complaining. He said, if my people would have opened their mouth to speak my word, he said, I would have long ago subdued their enemies. Christianity is not for the timid. Christianity is for the bold. In this kingdom, if you're not bold, the enemy will mess around. We are afraid to speak it because we are thinking when you come to pass. But God said, if you can speak it, I will do exactly what you say. If you can believe that word and speak it, no matter what the challenges may be, I will make sure that your word that you decree will come to pass. So your confession will always be your possession. What you confess is what you will possess. Anything you speak is what you will see. Until you change your confession, you can't change your life. You only expect them to speak the word only. If they cannot stop your boldness, they cannot stop your progress. If they cannot stop your boldness, they cannot stop your deliverance. Amen. If you can be bold enough to speak it, if you can have the nerve to speak that word, that word will come to pass. Amen. You yeah. see, so Jesus is not going to be moved by your need. I will repeat it. Jesus, our God, is not going to be moved by your need. God is going to be moved by his word. You confess in faith. Amen. Until you confess that word in faith, Jesus is not going to be moved. What God respects is his word. God, res- God does not have any respect for sympathy. God has respect for the world. It's only the world or his word is what will move him to come to your direction to help you. And that's why we're teaching this thing. Your bold confession of the word of God is an invisible channel that will move you from your comfort zone to the power zone of God. Amen. So the depth of revelation of the word of God that you have is what determines the strength of your faith. And your bold confession of the word of God is what determines the outcome of your life. So God is waiting for your bold confession. Because there is no manifestation without a bold confession. God is waiting for your bold confession of his word. Because there is no manifestation in your life without a bold confession. Acts chapter 5 and verse 2. Look at what happened after we pray. The Bible says, And though the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. Acts chapter 5 and verse 2. They prayed for boldness and God released his power into their life. And they were doing signs and wonders everywhere because of their bold confession of the word of God. And what you believe and confess is what you will become. Everything you confess is what you will become. 
If you confess right, things will start working right. If you confess wrong, things will start going more wrong. And God is teaching us to start confessing the word. Amen? Amen. So your bold confession in God's word is the flow channel of God's power to do it. The power of God cannot flow into your life until you start to confess the word of God with God will get some glory out of your life. Amen. The fire will burn them. And that situation you're in right now can't stop you. Amen. Because God will get some glory out of your life. Amen. God will get some glory out of your destiny. Amen. That situation can't stop you. Because God's power will be released when you speak that word. Amen. I know what the doctor said, but the God that I serve will deliver me. Amen. I know what the lawyer said, but the God that I serve will deliver me. Amen. I know what the government says, but the God that I know I serve will deliver me. I know I did not do well in that exam. And the God that I serve will deliver. Yeah. I know right now it looks like there's a blockage in my destiny. But I know that the God that I serve will deliver. Yeah. That should be your destiny. The God that I serve will deliver me. The God that I serve will open the door for me. Yeah. That is how you should talk. That's the only way you can engage the power of God. To complain is to remain. To complain over any situation is to remain in that situation. But to speak the word of God with boldness is what guarantees your divine release, my God. Amen. Can you me? Amen. So, what you say, there is a direct relationship with what you say and what you have in life. Whatever you say is what you have. If you want to change the situation, change your confession. When you confess the word of God before men and before your circumstances, before the storms in your life, God will command the angels. God in heaven will command the angels to carry out your confession and establish your degrees. If you can confess that word, God will command the angels. The Bible says angels are ministering spirits designed to minister to those who are heirs of salvation. The job of the angels is to carry out your command. Anything you decree, the angels will carry it out. So when you speak that word, God will command the angels to carry out that confession to them. Numbers chapter 14, number 28, he said, in the New Living Translation, he said, Now tell them this, as surely as I live, declares the Lord, I will do to you the very things I've had you say. God is telling you today, what you say is what you need. If you want God to work for you, that is the right word. The other, men, the other people say, We cannot get in there. We can't. And they, they didn't get in there. Because of what they said. Because of what they said. They couldn't get it. That is to tell you that your words are powerful. You got to start lining up your word in line with God's words from today. Amen. And see changes will happen rapidly in your life. Amen. 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 So, Numbers chapter 14, number 29, as we do pray this morning. He said, The carcass of you who have complained against me shall fall in the wilderness. Those people that say they can't get in there, you will never get in there. I will you. you will never get in there. You said it with your mouth, I will bring you to pass. You will not get in there. He said, All of you who were numbered according to your entire number from 20 years old and above, except for Caleb, the son of Jophimah, and Joshua, the son of Nun, you shall by no means enter the land which I swore I would make you dwell in. God swore to give them the land. And yet, they couldn't get into the land. Amen. Amen. Now, you will rise and fall to the level of your confession. You will rise and fall to 
the level of your confession. You will never rise higher than the level of your confession. God will meet you right at the point of your confession. So, if you can face your confession in line with the word of God, all your needs will be met. If you can fix your confession from today, all your needs will be met. So, Joshua and Caleb will never come back to land because of what they confessed. So, from today, I want you to start confessing what you want to see, not what is happening in your life. What you want to expect. That is what will come out from your mouth. If you want to be healed, you can say, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. You want to prosper, I am prospering in life. I can't fail, I can't be defeated, I'm a success. I will live in health, I will live long and strong. What you want to see is the only thing you're permitted to speak. Speak only the word if you want to change your life. Make sure Amen. So, number chapter 14, number 34, the Bible says, after the number of the days in which they sat the land, even 40 days, even uh, each day of the year, shall ye bear your iniquity. Even 40 years, and ye shall know my breach of promise. Mark the word, my breach of promise. God swore and changed his word because of the confession. You see, the word breach of promise means the action of breaking a sworn assurance to do something. That's what it means. The action of breaking a sworn assurance to do something. God, God breached the promise he gave them because of the word of this book. So, you will know how with your mouth you have caused me to revoke my word. You will know how with your mouth, with your promise, you will know how with your mouth you have caused me to revoke my word. So don't let God revoke the promises he has made to you. So speak in line to those promises. That is all you should declare. If you don't do that, you will go and revoke the promise that's given you. Because what and your belief in God is what, what allies that promise to your life. Can you show that So God was saying to them, even though I plan for you to be a multi millionaire, you took your mouth and changed my plans. Even though I want you to be healed, you took your mouth and changed my plans. Even though I have planned for you to succeed, you took your mouth and changed my words. Don't change God's plan in your life with your mouth. His plan is healing, deliverance, promotion, protection, preservation, prosperity, health. That is God's plan. So don't speak what the doctor said. Speak what the word said. By the stripes you hear. Speak the word only. Despite how bad that situation may have been. And after you speak the word of God, you maintain what I call the vocabulary, vocabulary of silence. Speak about the word. Only the word. When you decree a thing, it's going to be established for you. Amen. You are coming out of this middle man concept. When you speak it, you believe it. Amen. You don't need anybody. You need just you and the word and God. You don't need any middleman anyway. Speak the word and believe it. Amen. And it will come to pass. Amen. So God has built his authority in you. And nobody can stop him but you. God has built his authority into your life. No man can stop your progress but you. You are the only one that can stop yourself. So you are not a slave. You are a king. You are not broke. You just take your broke. You are not. You are just taking your broke. You are not broke. You are rich. You got to say what the word says. You are not defeated. You are a winner. You are a triumph. You are a victorious in God. That is exactly what you have to say. So the devil is a lie. And Jesus is a lie. If Jesus says you are going up, you are going up. If he says you're going over, you're going over. Mm -hmm. If he says you're healed, you're healed. If he says you prosper, you prosper. Amen. If he says you're delivered, you're delivered. Mm -hmm. Whatever he says is what you have to believe. Don't believe anything outside of what I'm telling you now. So you have to come out of this, your intellectual ladder, and fix your confession in line with God's word. Your confession.
Vision must be a life network.